Today we're taking a look at the automatic fogger combination nozzle. Hi, I'm Matt Hinkle and today we're going over the automatic fogger combination nozzle. This is the fifth video in our video series on nozzles and if you haven't seen those previous videos we're going to provide some links for you to check those out. You may want to see some of the overviews of the, the nozzle types before we go into the details of this nozzle. So this nozzle is an automatic fog or combination nozzle. This nozzle has the ability to adjust patterns and then has an internal mechanism to try to regulate the nozzle pressure to maintain the appropriate nozzle pressure in a given range of flow. So basically what that means is this nozzle can accept a range of flow, say anywhere between 60 and 150 gallons a minute, and it's going to maintain the appropriate nozzle pressure within the nozzle. So a lot of people refer to this as the automatic transmission. With a manual transmission nozzle or the manually adjustable nozzle, you would be turning a dial to change your gallonage and that moves the stem of the nozzle in and out. This automatic nozzle moves the stem in and out automatically without you doing it. So basically the nozzle tries to maintain the same nozzle pressure. This one operates at 75 PSI. So it's going to try to regulate that 75 PSI uh, throughout a range of flow. So this nozzle actually goes from 60 gallons a minute to 150 gallons a minute. So it can keep 75 PSI if you're flowing 60, and it can keep 75 PSI if you're flowing 150. So advantages and disadvantages to that, in complex pump situations, uh, it can help maintain that nozzle pressure by providing that regulation system within the nozzle. Uh, but it can also have a, a disadvantage to it because it can conceal some flow characteristics of the nozzle because it provides a good stream at a variety of different flows. So in the hands of an inexperienced nozzleman, uh, this can be a nozzle that I think you need a lot of training with because the nozzle will look great. The stream pattern, the shape, everything will look great, but your flow could be anywhere from 60 to 150 gallons a minute. Um, so the only way for you to really know what your flow exactly is, really just like any other nozzle, is you need either a flow meter or you need to be able to feel the nozzle reaction and understand that that is a properly charged or properly pressurized line and nozzle. So. If you have these kind of nozzles or really any type of nozzle, you need to get out and flow them. You need to flow test them. You need to feel what they uh, are supposed to feel like at the adequate water or ad adequate application rate that you determine. Thank you for watching the fifth video in our video series. I hope you subscribe to our channel. That way you can see the other videos that are coming out. You can also go to our Facebook page and our website. Our website is www.boxalarmtraining.com. We're going to provide a link above for you to go check that out. We have a lot of downloadable, printable resources, a lot, of more, a lot more articles and contributors that write on that website for you to check out. Uh, and also our Facebook page. Go to Facebook, like our Facebook page. It's Box Alarm Training. We provide a lot more resources there. We post a lot of material from other contributors. Uh, so check it out. Uh, and thanks for watching.